Charles M. Stife, Player Piano Rebuild. And features that I've added and some changes that I've made. I found this little booklet from a, another dealer, which I found quite interesting. It was handed out by the store when they sold the pianos. This is Sherbert and Beale, music dealers, 31 North 6th Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania. And what it actually is, is a little tracing book that Stife handed out, their dealers handed out to the public, where the, the child could trace the pictures that are in the book. The last page is quite interesting. 1842 to 1905. They evidently added their pianos in a world exposition and won medals. Uh, Centennial, Paris, Atlanta, New Orleans, Chicago, and Charleston in the years. Their location, where their storage was, and where their factory was. I will play the piano for you at a later time. First, the first change that I made on the piano was the keys. This piano was designed that the keys did not function when it was player, the playing a role. However, I like the mechanical idea of seeing the keys function. So we had to add a piece of felt, about a half inch long, quarter inch square woven felt, to, to link the key back into the key bar to the hammer bar. And now for all the keys do function with the piano roll when it's playing. Another change that I made was there were wooden doors up here. I took the wooden doors out and got a quarter inch plexiglass and the craft idea of using the imitation stained glass paints and so forth. I created this panel and put that in there and of course put lighting behind it. Also, and I did that to the picture of the one on the bottom also. I also created a mandolin bar, which is a piece of fabric with a little piece of metal on the end of it. And when the hammer comes up, it strikes the metal against the strings, which gives it a, a tinny sound, which is quite unique. In the bottom here is the other panel that I, I made up. And behind that is the vacuum pump, which is electric. Therefore, this one, piano does not have to be played by pumping of pedals. The way I made that stained glass panel, I'll show you over here. I took a piece of cardboard to cut, cut out to fit the panel space, hand drew the pattern from a picture put a piece of tracing paper over top of that and created the opposite side. Therefore, they're identical. I did that the lower panel and, of course, the upper panel. Now, I removed the bottom panel door so you can see the interior. And this is a pretty special piano. This unit that you're looking at here controls the accent keys. The treble and the bass but it does it automatically off of special piano rolls there were rolls that were created just for this piano the left side of course the bass and the right hand side was the treble and over in this corner here you'll see the vacuum pump now the problem was with this piano mainly was this bellows all had to be recovered had to have new fabric put on them This one you do not pump pedals, it has automatic vacuum, a regular pump. Everyone, when I took the fabric off, every one of those wooden panels inside, they're all stamped. June 1917. That's the way I know that the year of this piano was made in 1917. And up here on the, the top you can see the mandolin bar. The black strips here with the little metal tabs on them and when the key came up it would strike the the metal tab and it has a pull cord on this to put it into play action and another feature I added is up in the back of the play box 
there's a micro switch up here and a trip lever in the back so when this roll comes to an end it strikes the switch and does a shutdown that was not part of the original piano it does have a automatic rewind which was factory installed okay with that I'll play a little song on it now down underneath here is that little switch you pull and that starts the roll turning that lights up the panels and the pump begins running And now to set it for a replay is just simply hook up the roll. Reset the switch down underneath. And up in the top here, the automatic shutoff, 
has to be reset also and close the doors and it's ready for a replay next project I hope to find a Nickelodeon I would love to do a rebuild on a Nickelodeon if you have any questions on the rebuild want to get in contact with me use email address herring1 at ptd.net that's h-e-r-r-i-n-g and the number one at ptd paul tom david dot net